Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on another video. In today's video, I wanted to film a little chat. Get ready with me, if that's okay. Thought it was time that we sat down with a cuppa and had a little catch up. Because there's been a lot going on. I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys and chill and do my makeup and get ready. And start the day with you by my side. Kind of through the... Anyway, disclaimer, I am not a makeup artist or a hairdresser. Um, if you've seen any of my Get Ready With Me videos before, I think people actually left comments saying, it was really brave of you to upload this. And I was like, wow, wow, you know something's wrong when people think you're brave for sharing the way that you do your makeup. <laughs> so please don't expect anything. Um, we're just gonna see what happens as we do most days and to be honest we're starting with this so I'm quietly confident that the only way is up okay okay so before we start first things first let's get a coffee probably my favorite place in the flat the coffee corner with my beloved DeLonghi machine I love it so much I think I'm gonna be a little bit bougie today and go for a cappuccino <laughs> Oh my goodness, this mane. I think today I'm gonna go for caramel. So good. We've got our coffee. We're here. Let's start sorting this face out. Oh. One sec, just a few more sips. Imagine being the person who invented coffee. Imagine knowing that you had brought so much happiness to so many people. Okay, so we're gonna start by getting this big poofy ting under control. I'm using Tony and Guy heat defense spray because Blonde hair is very fragile and I shouldn't really be using as much heat on it as I do. As you can see, it's a mess when you don't, so... I might just curl it a little bit. Again, I'm not that good at this. Okay, so now that my hair is done, or at least as done as I can be bothered for it to be, um, let's get started with the makeup. I'm just gonna clip my hair back and we can sort out the face. Okay, so I'll tell you what I'm using as I use it, but as I've said, this is in no way tutorial. So I'm starting off with some NYX Shine Killer Primer. I'm just gonna put that all over my face and let's get started. The life catch up. As you know, I have moved into this flat. I'm living in a two bed flat by the sea and I've also changed my working pattern. So instead of working in full-time training, I'm now working full-time, but as a locum, um, which basically means that I fill gaps in the rotor, move around a bit more, and my work isn't guaranteed. Luckily for me, there are lots of gaps in the rotor, um, and it's been going great so far, to be completely honest. I was really nervous before I did this. There's like this almost unspoken rule about being a doctor that you can't really like step off and take time out and I don't know, there's just almost a lot of pressure to kind of just keep doing the next thing, doing the next thing and so I was really nervous to just put a pause on everything and say that I'm going to carry on working but I'm going to slow down a bit and just take time to figure out exactly what specialty I want to do and do all the other things that I love as well at the same time. It was terrifying at first because I had a really good job lined up and it's the first time that I've kind of been out on a limb I guess if you want to say like not had everything regimented and everything planned and I never realised, I always thought I was a spontaneous person but really I've never really been that spontaneous, I've always had everything planned so kind of taking my life back off the treadmill and saying wait I'm gonna choose exactly what I want to do with my life and when. It's been kind of scary but it's been also very good. I'm using <laughs> 
literally the oldest palette ever. It was like three pounds. It is broken. It is missing the color that I would really prefer to use. So I'm just using the black and mixing it with a little bit of brown. Using that for my eyebrows. Again, not a tutorial. I was able to do a specialty that I wouldn't have otherwise been able to do, which is gastro. And I absolutely loved it. Worked with such a good team. Loved the ward, loved the nurses. And then starting a new job on Monday. Um, just covering some gaps at a hospital that I used to work at. Wow, those aren't sisters, those are simply not related. What I love about being a locum is the amount of time I've had to do other things. So I've been able to do some filming with Grapevine TV. I'm so excited for when that comes out. So Grapevine TV is like a talk show on YouTube if you're not aware of it. Um, I went down to London to do some filming with them uh, like a week ago, I think. And that was amazing, got to meet some really great people. I've been doing a lot more work on blood and organ donation as I've been sharing on this channel and on the Instagram, which I love. And I've generally just been allowing myself to take things at an easier pace. And that's something that I'm trying to apply to my life kind of generally is just stop stressing, stop rushing and allow myself to not be perfect. I have to sleep. I can't just not sleep in order to get things done. And I really feel like I'm feeling the difference with my mental health. Almost pretentious as that sounds, I just think that especially after this last year, I'm being a lot more careful to look out for what's in here and what's in here. Wow, I'm looking real funky right now, but we'll sort it out, don't you worry. Well, maybe, we may not sort it out, we'll try. The foundation that I'm using at the moment is NYX Stay Matte Not Flat Foundation. Honestly, the only reason I use this is because it's cheap, it's cheap and I think it's a good color match. But it does like separate all the time. The last one that I had of this didn't separate as much, so I think it might just be this bottle. Um, but yeah, we will apply that to the face. And I am just going to use my fingers. I say it's a perfect colour match, it's absolutely not. It's a little bit too red based, but I feel like once I put on my concealer, it tends to match a little bit better. On the other side of things, um, I'm changing up my training soon. So one of the main reasons, pretty much the main reason that I decided to kind of slow things down right now is because I'd like to get back to training on a track. <laughs> So I'd like to go back into doing more athletics and more running and hurdling again, you know, doing what I love while I'm still young and fit enough to do it. I think that's something that's really been drummed into me over my first year of being a doctor. So I'm starting training next week, no, the week after next, and I'm very excited. I'm going to be training with an Olympian. <laughs> Uh, my oh my gosh that color looks so bad wow okay maybe this is the worst <laughs> it matches my hand ish oh that's a terrible color match did i buy the wrong one please tell me i bought the wrong one i'm sure that this used to match nyx deep rich oh it's the wrong color <laughs> so i bought this like a day ago and i'm just using it now this one was a good match. It's deep rich. This one is deep olive and it is not a match. They look pretty similar though, right? Ah, crap. I'm gonna remove some of that and add in some of my old foundation. Try and kind of match, match the color a bit more, I guess. My concealer is also run out. I just need a whole new makeup bag at the moment. Like, look at that, there's nothing on that, there's absolutely nothing on that, oh my gosh. I'm getting a little bit from the deep left top corner. Well, seeing as I need a whole new makeup bag, if anyone has any suggestions of products I should try or use, then please let me know. I'm really quite nervous to go back on the track, to be honest, there's so much I need to prepare. I need to get new spikes. I need to just prepare emotionally and mentally. I literally haven't stepped on a track in years. But this is what, when I sat down, and I literally sat down and asked myself, what do I want to do with my life? What were my dreams? What were my aspirations? Because yes, I want to be a doctor, but there's so much more that, there's so much more to me. I can't, I couldn't pretend that I was happy to lay down every other single aspect of me, because that's what you really have to do with medicine. You have to put it first place 100% and don't get me wrong I love medicine it is what I do I love being a doctor but I was like is there a way that I can do this and still be me and still pursue the other things that I love um so I asked myself what on earth do I want to do with my life and I was like I never really finished finding out 
my love for athletics. I never really was done with that. Like when I'm at the gym, I always feel like there's so much more potential in me and, and there's so much more that I can do um, and that I'm, I'm getting strong and I'm getting fit, but I'm not investing that and building that in the way that I know I can and I used to love to do. I, I don't really know where this will lead. I think I, I have no idea where this will go, to be completely honest, but I wanna find out. I really want to find out. Wow, now I feel like I've made my face too light, but whatever. I want to find out and I'm very excited to start training again. I'm so glad to be able to do it with my best friend. <coughs> oh. I have cream carpets, you guys. And dropping... Oh. <laughs> dropping foundation on a cream carpet is absolutely not the one. And then another thing that I've been trying to really prioritise recently and build is my relationship with God. So as you know, I'm a Christian. Um, I, I found that... I found that as I allowed myself to just become overwhelmed with busyness last year, um, I was not having like proper quiet times with God, not like taking time to really focus on building my relationship with God and knowing him and becoming a stronger Christian. As much as I was becoming a better doctor, becoming healthier and fitter, I didn't really feel as though I was becoming a better Christian. Don't get me wrong, I don't think I was a particularly bad Christian but just in terms of my relationship with God going from strength to strength I felt like I was just just not all there so I've been trying to prioritize that as well and just really having my quiet times with God I can't tell you what a difference it makes to know God like the amount of peace I have when I can just cast all my cares upon him when I feel like God is leading me towards something or away from something I just love that and I'm so so grateful to be able to invest I mean you can always no matter how busy you are it's about what you prioritize I just had so much more peace and happiness as I've been getting deeper and deeper into God's love for me and remembering who I am and, and and the thing about knowing God is that it helps you prioritize stuff so much better when you're stressing about whatever you're stressing about when you're able then to take a step back talk to God who created you who loves you and see things from such a bigger perspective it's so much easier to relax and to chill and to literally just cast your cares upon God and I'm just so so grateful to God for all that he's doing in my life like I really trust and believe that God is leading me and guiding me and and making me better I'm in no way deluded to think that I'm perfect I'm aware of many of my flaws some of them I'm not aware of I'm just so grateful for the peace of the knowledge that God is making me better that he's leading me and guiding me and shaping me and my life is in his hands as long as I keep him first as long as I keep knowing his love and keep asking him for guidance I really believe that he's not going to let me go too far wrong I really believe that and um, and that's such a reassurance when I was having the whole quarter life crisis thing and I was like what am I doing with my life having the foundation of God's love to be able to like build my life upon and know that wait this is what matters and everything else doesn't matter and, and being able to start from that point and figure things out from there has been so helpful and I know that's really cryptic and it's probably going to be so hard to edit because it probably makes no sense but um that's kind of how I feel especially as now recently oh my camera's running out of battery let me just go get a charger one sec okay I've just come out to the living room because I feel like the lighting's better and I can charge my camera while I, while I do this. So things are going well work-wise. I'm really enjoying what I'm doing extracurricularly and I'm making definite intentional steps to ensure that I don't get back to that mental space that I was in a few months ago. That I make time for myself, that I make time to do the things which I know keep me <laughs> keep me happy and keep me sane. I don't let myself just get so overwhelmed by work and responsibilities and ambitions and goals. I've been listening a lot. That's another thing that I started doing from my quarter life crisis is that I started listening a lot. Listening to loads of podcasts, listening to audiobooks from people whose lives I admire, who have achieved something that I want to achieve or be like. And one of the people who I've started listening to is Gary V, if you know him. He's like a really popular motivational speaker, I guess. And one of the things that I really like of what he says is how he says it's actually not about the goal. <laughs> he was like, it's not about achieving what you want to achieve. You have to love the process. If you don't love the process that takes you to your goal, then what is the point? Because the process is your whole life. You should do what you're passionate about and do what you love because that is the life that you're living and that's kind of like the legacy that you'll leave. Okay, I've just had to switch camera because that camera is definitely dead. Um, and we're gonna power through. And to be honest as well, 
I'm kind of at that stage where I feel like I'm ready to meet someone. You know, I am all for loving single life um, and not being one of those girls who's like, oh, I just need a man. Because I just, I think that there's so much blessing in being single. Like, I have so much time. I can do what I want. There's no stress. With everything else going on in my life, I feel like I'm kind of at that place mentally, emotionally, where I could totally meet someone. Which is good because it means that I feel like I'm kind of happy in myself and good by myself. I'm one of those people who believes that two halves don't make a whole, that you need to be like a whole person by yourself before you go searching for your other half. So that's a good thing. But equally, I think I keep seeing, maybe it is because of my sisters, I keep seeing in my sister's lives like them in their relationships. Having someone to build your life with is such a blessing. Two are better than one. And just seeing that in my sister's lives and how they're just bossing lives with their other halves or whatever is really cool and I'm just so excited. Where was I and what was I saying? It's been the world's most stressful get ready with me to film because half my products are gone. My cameras are just trying to be against me for some reason, but whatever. I'm using, by the way, this morph palette, which I can't pick up because the black is cracked everywhere. <laughs> the eyeshadow will go everywhere. But it is the morph 39A palette. It has, let me count, 40 colours. There has 40 colours and I use one, two, three of them. But the three that I use are pretty pang, so I'm using this like creamishy colour. So anyway, as I was saying, nothing has really changed with my relationship status. <laughs> if I was seeing someone, I don't think I would put it on YouTube, as bad as that sounds. Is that disappointing? I share most things on here. Most things? Yeah, I guess most things I share on here or on my Instagram. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with sharing about your relationships, but just for me, um, I think I'd find that very, not difficult. I just don't think I'd want to. Oh crap, that was way too much. Oh crap. Okay, so who doesn't love a good old pink eye look? Hey Sarah, did you get punched? No. I just did my makeup. I apologise that this get ready with me has been so deep. It was supposed to just be like a life catch up -y type of thing. But I feel like that's kind of where my life is at right now. What do you think guys? Is this too much? I feel like I'm way over contoured like my nose just looks a little bit ridiculous i still use the super cheapy collection 2000 liquid liner by the way remember when i said i was gonna go all bougie and get an expensive makeup bag and then i just didn't i don't even see the point in getting more expensive products unless you actually get better at putting them on your face if i'm still gonna be average at application then spending more money is not gonna change that do you know why I think this is going wrong? It's because I'm freaking starving, you guys. I'm so hungry. Let me just go make some food because I'm so damn hungry. Ugh, BRB. Making this sweet and savoury pumpkin and pine nut fiorelli. Um, and then I'm going to do some four cheese sauce to go with it. And that is what I'm eating, you guys. A very much vegetarian, very much not vegan little meal. And this is the thing, I didn't realise I was just hungry. I feel so much better now. It doesn't matter if your makeup goes wrong when you've got absolutely delicious food. This is delicious. I highly recommend. All the um, ingredients are in my Waitrose haul. This is very good. So for my lipstick, I'm going to be using this Gosh lipstick in matte raisin, which, fun fact, actually got as a gift from Patricia Bright, <laughs> who has no idea I exist, but one time I won a giveaway, and I was supposed to get an iPhone 7, um, but then a mistake had been made, and so I didn't win it, and I got sent makeup instead, which, you know, I'm still grateful for, because she owes me nothing, um, so yeah, thank you for this lipstick, Patricia, if you ever watch this video. <laughs> By the way, this lip gloss is NYX Cosmetics metallics <laughs> one thing that I am good at I know that sounds a bit cocky but I am good at strip lashes no matter how cheap the lashes I will stick these down and they will not be resurrecting anytime soon honey if you need your eyelashes put on just let me know. I can put them on in a car. 
I can put them on while riding a bike. If you're using cheap lashes, sometimes they can be a bit shiny, so just putting some mascara on the top as well, so when you look down, they don't look all gray and weird, can really help to get a slightly more natural look. Cool, I'll take my hair down and we shall unveil the finished look for today. Okay, so I feel like this is the finished look, you guys. Um, what do you think? Considering the trauma, I don't think it's actually that bad. I really like my hair, actually. That is the best I have ever been able to make it look by myself. So very happy. Oh, my flower's dead. That kind of sums up this whole video, doesn't it? Let's be honest. I kind of like this look. Let me do some close-ups so y'all can see. Some angles, beauty guru on fleek. I don't even know what my eyeshadow looks like when my eyes are closed, to be honest. I feel like that is going to be the longest, most ranting, difficult to edit video ever. But basically, the long and short of the life catch-up is that I'm very much enjoying living in my new flat. Work is going really well and so far so good with the locum work. Thank you, Jesus. It was scary at first, but I love it now. I'm starting athletics training again, which makes my heart so happy, but also kind of terrified. I'm still single, but more ready to mingle than I have been. I'm not gonna be leaving guys on red anymore. <laughs> not that I ever did, because no one was texting, <laughs> but whatever. I'm not gonna be leaving guys on red, should I have the opportunity to. And I'm trying to deepen my relationship with God and be a better person all round, which I think is good. I feel like I'm now on the other side of what was a bit of a dark patch in my life. That sounds a bit dramatic, but just wasn't very happy, was really anxious and nervous all the time and just full of fear all the time and now I feel like God's brought me through that. Still going to be a personal trainer, doing my qualifications at the moment and I really want this channel and this Instagram to grow in the future. I think that's what I'm working on this year is athletics, personal training, relationships, God, YouTube and Instagram, job. That's a lot of stuff to focus on, a lot of stuff. I'm sure that this channel is gonna grow in ways that I can't even imagine, um, but I'm just really enjoying sharing my life with you guys, and I hope that as I grow and change, which I inevitably will, um, I kinda hope that you can stick around for the journey and grow and change and learn stuff with me too. Thank you so much for being my internet friends and for watching this Get Ready With Me. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.